walkthrough to make your stay easy and so you know how to work everything. Come on in. Well, up front, we'll start. We have the steering controls here. We'll come back to this and I show you how to operate the boat. Steering wheel, it flips out. And this is the shift control and throttle control and the trim control as well. And we'll just kind of work our way down the side of the boat. We've got some hooks here for your backpacks and for your uh, miscellaneous items, towels, and some games and magazines in this package. We also have the house manual, as you can see here, which has got instructions for everything I'm explaining here, plus uh, how to use lots of different things on the boat, how to make coffee, lots of interesting things. So let's first come over here on the wall where we have all the electronics. We'll just start in the top here. We have the TV. And the remote for that is in the drawer. You just turn that on with that. And then it uh, uses a TV booster here, which has a little green light. So if that's on, it'll boost the antenna signal so you can get a pretty good reception out here. We get most channels out here most of the time. Um, here's the uh, carbon monoxide detector. And if that were to go off, you know there's some sort of carbon monoxide danger. And this is just a, a 12 volt outlet. Over here we have the uh, stereo system. You just push this on and uh, you can play radio or connect Bluetooth. I put on Bluetooth music by hitting mode. I can pair my phone, just pair it with PRV175 and uh, that will let you play music off your phone. Turn that on. Now here's the solar uh, display. This tells you where you're at as far as your solar. And you can see right now it's about 85%. It's a little cloudy today. It'll tell us we're charging 10 amps and we're using 0.4 in our house. Nothing much is running right now. And uh, just if you notice here, the little smiley face, that's what you want to see. If it gets all the way down, it will shut off the 12 volt system and you'll have to uh, start up the generator to charge it up. But hopefully that won't happen. Um, Here's some of your controls. The bottom one here is the water pump. That's currently on. I usually just leave it on. The only reason to turn it off would be if you had some issues, like it was just running or cycling or there was a leak or something like that. And here we have the lights for if you're running at night. You can just turn those on. I'll leave those off for now. Over here we have the ceiling fan. If we turn this on, you can see up here ceiling fan. And when it's really hot out, that comes in handy. Turn that off. We have lights. This light here. This is the front porch light right here. And those are 12 volt as well. So up on the counter we have more 12 volt outlets. You can plug your phone in here. Um, there's also a, an outlet that if you have the generator running, you can run something off of here. There's an outlet here and one in the bathroom. For running your 120 volt appliances. Now, if you have a laptop or something, and you don't, you want to plug that in without starting the generator, you can use this little uh, inverter here. Plug this in here, and just plug your laptop in here. And it's only like uh, 250 watts or 150 watts, so it only runs something very small like a laptop. Paper towels. Down below here we have the main drawer, silverware, knives. All the things you should need. And a refrigerator right here. You just press this button down to open the door. Um, up top, lots of dishes. This is how we make coffee. There's instructions in the book how to boil water and use a pour over coffee maker. And we have spices. We even have some you know, battery powered candles. You can those around at night. Frying pans, vacuums. There's a light over the sink, works with a little chain at night, and we have a nice deep sink. Let's turn on the water, and it runs. There's hot water, there's a hot water heater underneath here that we'll have turned on for you, and uh, should be all there is to it. We've got the griddle, there's two burners, uh, you just hold it down, and you'll hear it make a little clicky sound, turn it on, it'll light up. Have a cutting board here to use. Uh, I can also use it for a trivet. Just want to put it down. Put a hot pot on there. 
so you don't uh, damage the countertops. And more issues here with the storage plates, all kinds of things you might need. Got some pot holders here for hot pans. And so let's come back this way to the bathroom. There's a sliding barn door here. And you can use this to keep it from moving around too much. But the boat kind of always leans back, so it usually stays there. And it's also what you use to lock it when you're inside. There's a matching hole on the other side that will lock that for you. And let's come into the bathroom. Here we have on the lights. We have a shower. We usually keep a couple of chairs in here. Just a good place to keep them. Just take them out if you want to take a shower. We have two chairs on board. We can provide up to four if you ask for them. Uh, there's a medicine cabinet. Put your toothbrush and all that stuff. We got a few things on here if you need them. Some sunscreen, uh, travel toothbrush. If you forget your toothbrush, we got a pack for you. Um, there is an outlet in there as well. The other switch here is for the fan. For the so there's a little, uh, cute little whale sink here. Right. And uh, over here we have a regular RV style toilet. So you just, if you want to put a little extra water in there, you hold it part way down. And then when you're done, you just go all the way down and you flush it. There's a holding tank underneath. We got special RV toilet paper to use for this. You don't want to use your own toilet paper. And we have hygiene products. You don't want to flush anything other than toilet paper down there. Uh, coming back this way, there's a big closet here to store your, your items in. Just move the little lever. It keeps it from bouncing out. Open it up. Tons of storage. All right, a few more things. We've got a little smoke detector up here. If that would go off, you can press this little button to silence it if you burn something in the kitchen. Also up top here, we have some storage. We have a, this is your throwable. So if someone were to fall overboard, you can throw that to them. You're required to have one on board. And we have life jackets stored up here as well. We usually have a couple of kids jackets, a couple of adult jackets. But if we have more, we can uh, provide whatever you need. Let me show you the back door here. This has a screen built in. This goes up and down. This locks in. You just release it down here. It's nice. Get some extra breeze. So we'll come out the back and we will go up top. All right, we're up top on that tiny houseboat. This is a great place to hang out. You can see we're anchored in a tiny little cove. It's kind of windy today, but it's really calm back here. So this is one of the best places to, to stop at night. It's just a nice cove like this, where there's not gonna be any wind or any storms to mess with you. Uh, there's a couple of lounge chairs here. They fold flat. These uh, arms go up and down. There's a little cooler. We kind of use the table here to set your drinks on. Put some snacks in there. And out here we see the solar panels that uh, power the boat. There's 400 watts of solar, and uh, there's also the TV antenna right there. So it's a great place to hang out and uh, enjoy the lake. All right, so we have also here a little table that just folds out like this. Very simple. You can use it, you can set it out on the front porch, a couple chairs, you can use it here, watch TV, drink your coffee, whatever. When you're done with it, just up and it hangs on these two little things right here and it stays nice and secure. So now I'll show how to get the bed out. It's a full queen size bed and uh, pretty easy to do. Let's pull it out a little bit. You go in here, you grab your uh, your linens and all the stuff you're going to use to make the bed. There's also a foam mattress here if you want a little extra cushion. And set those on the countertop and come back and do it from here. So there's a handle on the back of the bed. Is grab this. And the first thing you're going to do is pull it up onto this lower piece. Okay. And that is to help you get it up from the wall. And you're going to pull this out quite a ways, the whole thing, and you're going to 
sneak back in here and let this shelf down. So there's a shelf right here. You just pull this little pin, put that aside. You let this down, and this supports the other half of the bed. And you come back around to here. on before you get it slammed tight against the wall, but you can do it that way too. And when you're ready to put the bed back together, you just basically reverse the process. And what this rope is going to do is help me slide out a little bit, pull this back up over where it was. back a ways. Try to keep it kind of straight. If it goes sideways on you. It's a little challenging. There's two of you, it even works better. Let's get about here. This just slides back into here. And the rest of it just pushes in. Tuck this back here out of the way. That's it. Okay, we're on the back of the boat, and I'm going to show you how to operate the generator. Uh, it's pretty simple. You'd use the generator if you want to run the AC or the heat, and uh, it's just right back here. There's a little panel here. Take that off. Now you have access to the pull cord. Turn the knob to on here, right there. Over here, you have the choke. You can see it right in here. Pull it towards you. That's choke on. You only use that to start it. Just give it a pull. Now it's running. Turn your choke off, and you're ready to go. Cover back on. When you're done using the generator, just turn it off. There's also another little panel here that the only reason you'd need to access it would be if you had uh, overloaded the generator and hit, had to hit the reset switch. But otherwise, don't need to play with the buttons there. Should be good to go. All right, so to operate the boat, the uh, steering controls swing out. Just pull the pin, drop it in there, and now you can steer from here. So that basically, just a key, this needs to be in the little slot there for it to work. It's something you'd attach to your, your waistband in case you fell over and it would stop the engine. So the steering wheel, the shifter forward, this way, reverse that way. You have the trim buttons here that control the tilt of the engine. So, this little button's right here. Um, like when you're coming into shore, you want to trim it up a little bit. When you get out in the deep water, bring it down. So, I'm just going to start it up. And uh, when the engine's running, you can look in the back through the back door. See it vibrating, so you know it's going. You always do that before you weigh anchor because you don't want to get blown into the rocks. Uh, another thing you can do is pull out There's a chair hanging right here. And this is a great for driving. So you have to stand up the whole time. So 
When I'm going to go forward, I'm just going to ease it forward. You're, you're anchored. I know. And you go forward. And backward to go backward. That's really all there is to it. There is a point when you're driving down the lake, you either want to go slow or fast. If you feel a lot of vibration on the engine, it's kind of in between zone. That's because the prop is cavitating because it's a really big object to move through the water. So just try to find a spot where there's not much vibration as you're underway and you'll be fine.